<laughs> oh, hi. Welcome back to NLG Story Time. <laughs> Tonight's story is one that I've never come across before. This one is called The Little Black Cock. Cock-a-doodle-doo, crowed the little black cock from the top of his hen coop every morning. Sometimes he even said, Cock-a-doodle-doo-doo, -doo, just to show how grand he was. For the truth is, the little black cock was tired of the muddy chicken run where he lived. He wanted to be gold instead of black and to see the world and be really grand. At last, he decided that crowing about it wasn't good enough. So one day, he set off to look for adventure. Soon he came to a little town with lots of shops. One of the shops had windows that were filled with glittering gold rings, dishes and cups. It was very grand indeed. So the little black cock went inside. When he found the goldsmith working in a big workshop at the back, he said, I'm so tired of being a little black cock. I want to be golden and grand and see the world instead. Can you help me, please? I dare say I can, said the goldsmith who was a big, kind man in a leather apron. Do you see all this gold dust on the floor? Well, just you try rolling in that, and then you'll be as golden as the sun. This made the little black cock very happy. He rolled and twisted and fluttered his feathers in the dust until he was quite golden all over. Just then, the vicar called at the shop. I want a new weathercock for the church tower, he explained. A nice golden one, but not too big because I haven't much money. Really? Here's just the thing, answered the goldsmith, pointing at the little black cock. Cock a doo 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 doo, he crowed to show how pleased he was. Very soon, the little black cock was perched on top of the church tower, as golden and grand as a king, with all his lands spread round him. But do you know, it was rather lonely up there after a while, being golden and grand all by himself. He used to look forward to Halloween when the bats in the belfry always gave a party. Then he flew off his perch to play in the dirt and cobwebs till he was quite black and dusty again. But it was only 
once a year. That is the price of being golden and grand and having the world at your feet. Yep, that's another shit one. <laughs> And that's story time over, children. <laughs>